In this video, we're going to talk about HelpWise. This is one of the one of the better put together shared inbox systems that I've found. So stay tuned for this one. It has a free plan, so you can try it out right away. Hey everybody, this is David from TechSmart Boss here with another video, and we're going to take a look at HelpWise.io today. We've covered products like this before. Um, we've talked about Help Ninja. This Help Scout, Front App, if you're familiar with Front, and all of these tools allow you to have shared inboxes. So if you've got things like support at your company domain, info, sales, marketing, jobs, whatever common aliases that you use, you can pipe them into products like this and have a team of people work those uh, emails. In fact, they say it right here, help at, sales at, jobs at. Um, and this also includes a knowledge uh, portal component, which is really nice. So let's take a look quickly at the pricing. This is a, a free plan, so we really like that. The free plan gives you one shared inbox, which is only email, and then they have a pro plan, which gives you five. Now what's a little bit different about these guys is they have email, they have text, SMS, and they have WhatsApp. So if you're using these three channels, then this will be a pretty good fit for you. And you'll notice they have things like automation rules and help centers and things like that that you have to get on their pro plan. Let's go ahead and sign up, do a free trial, set up, and take a look on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as my TechSmart boss email. And we'll give it a password. You know, I always like to log in with my actual email versus any of the social logins in case you do get um, banned or whatever happens. You really can't trust these guys these days. They're banning pretty much everybody. All right, so it sent me a six-digit code. Let's pop over to my email. There it is. Let's go ahead and copy that and paste that in there. And, okay, so it's taking me right into an onboarding where I can set up my first shared inbox. So for this video, I'm gonna actually do my info at techsmartboss.com. So the concept is that anybody who would email that would come into this shared inbox and I could have a team of, you know, myself, virtual assistants, whoever might be available to respond to that. So let's go ahead and hit next. Not gonna add any team members at this point, but looks like I could, which is really nice. It says next, start receiving emails. Now, the way you trigger all this to go is you got to take this unique uh, email address here and basically you forward any emails that come into that info at TechSmart Boss in this case. I'm going to hit copy. Now, if you have an actual email box, then you would go into that email box and set up forwarding rules. In my case, I, using G Suite, I use groups and group aliases. So I'm going to click over to my group list here. I'm going to say add a member and let's go ahead and get that added. There we go. Add to group. Now anyone who will email info at techsmartboss.com will send an email automatically there. So let's hit continue here. It's probably going to, so you'll see here it says incoming emails unverified. Looks like there's some onboarding. I'm going to go ahead and close out that onboarding. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to send myself an uh, email so that I can trigger that to be verified. Testing help wise. And send that over. Now that should trigger unless there's some sort of. All right, there it is. Account successfully verified. Let's take a look and see what it says over here. I'm going to refresh. Looks like that email, let's say verify now. You know, that actually might go through and send an email itself and then to see if it routes through. I think that's actually what it's doing. So I don't think I actually had to send that email. And there it is. So I've got my email that I sent, testing help wise. You'll see popping in this info box. And it actually sent me one as well which was how it did the testing. So you actually don't have to send. I like that. That's a much better way than many products are doing that these days. So as we can see now that we have this shared inbox, what I like about HelpWise is that it has all of the support features that, that you would see in a, in, a, in a support tool like Zendesk and Help. I'm not going to say all, but it has quite a few. And when I, what I mean is I can come in here 
and work on a ticket like let's say this one for example I've got a nice view I can reply I can assign this to other teammates really quickly I can see who's viewing that ticket I think it's got some collision detection built in so two people are not going to respond at the same time I can close it I can start I can add tags so you've got a tagging uh, system I can snooze it which is a nice type of mailbox feature and I can create rules so if I'm getting a lot of these types of emails let's go ahead and do that that can take me into a section here where I can probably set up some of those automation rules now that I believe was part of the pro but let's take a look at this let's just say example apply to one or all my mailboxes let's apply just to this one mailbox and if it's from this particular person maybe that's a VIP maybe it's a a problem issue if it has specific words so I can start to route things based on uh, the incoming text or the incoming person and organization that's sending it if then then what do I want to do with it I can close it immediately if it's spam market is never marketed spam market is spam lots of options here auto assign it send a reply so I can send auto replies so that that's a nice rule creation automation type of flow here and if I look at rules let's go ahead and click on looks like I'm already in there let's just say skip the inbox and close so now anytime I would email it would just close my emails automatically so that probably wasn't a great thing to do but you can kind of see the process here that now I can come in and create new rules let's go back to inboxes let's just take a look at that one more time so you can see all the unassigned tickets they've got queues here all my snoozed all my tags what's been sent so it's a fully functioning I can compose directly from here so this is a great shared inbox um, let's see what else we can do let's go back into that automation I do have save replies very nice looks like you have the ability to put tokens in there that's powerful rules integrations now this is where I saw on their website they got a lot of integrations and some of these are connected to Zoho I mean connected to Zapier but many of these are native which which is very nice I love the slack integration um, stripe so you can kind of see that they've got a variety of things not just support oriented but marketing and sales project management web hooks uh, again different mechanisms like like SMS for Twilio Twilio so you've got a lot of CRMs a lot of CRMs in here so you've got a lot of integration capability see I can import I can transition from some of their competitors that's pretty nice nice feature there got an API I can tap into see what I can do under manage setting up new users the other nice thing I noticed on their website is as you set up a new team member you're able to explicitly give it mailbox permissions and what they can do within that mailbox so again pretty powerful in how you can set these shared inboxes up and then uniquely assign people to what they can do now I've got my profile that I can set up anything special there default uh, a little bit of default personalizations at the profile level default view default send nice features there there's my tag set up and then I mentioned that help center this is where it looks like I can create that help center very easy to navigate this product I think I really like the interface a lot of, lot of great UI and user experience here um, okay I gotta upgrade because I'm not in the pro remember that was a pro feature Let's take a look at what if I go pro it wants some credit card information and that's where you bump up into the help center so we won't take a look at that today let's just see if there's anything else I want to take a look at over here. that just takes me back over into here analytics we didn't pick take a peek at that but uh, you know pretty standard stuff here I can look at it by looks like individual mailboxes or all mailboxes and kind of see team statistics here pretty generic um, but probably enough for the basics I think if you go pro maybe you get a little bit more of those uh, let's see if I hit this button what does that do okay it takes me to my where I can manage my mailbox let's look at this I hadn't actually taken a look at here so I can assign the users I want to this mailbox I can test the forwarding again ah now this is something that's new this is pretty powerful I can set up my own outgoing SMTP very very powerful I have this go through my mail seamlessly have all your email security set up now of course I'm sure you can set up your, your 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 email security if you use them as well but I like the fact that I can use Gmail Outlook natively or my own SMTP server that's a pretty 
pretty powerful feature that not many of these products type have and I like this ticket number this is something that we've had issues with these apps before they weren't really set up for ticketing and having ticket numbers and if you're in a B2B customers like to reference a ticket number so that's pretty unique there what I notice when I turn that on it doesn't give me the ability to set my ticket nomenclature and how I want that to start what number I want that to start so that they probably got to do a little bit more on that reply as an alias interesting and I can add aliases so that's pretty cool and then I got my signature and it does oh it does have HTML signatures so we've talked about in the past how you could put in some integration with some of the other products we've talked about uh, like email signature driven tools where you can have banners that promote certain webinars or things like that you can put in uh, we talked about emojix in the past where you can put a feedback uh, set of icons here potentially so I had to test that but that's something I would I would look to do uh, as a next test there I don't right, want to wrap this up we've, we've covered this pretty extensively I like it hopefully you like it check it out helpwise.io and if you do like these types of videos subscribe to our YouTube channel go check out our Facebook page and check out www.techsmartboss.com for more videos newsletters and information like this talk to you next time